Hey folks, today we're going to be taking a look at the Metroid Dread 2-Pack Amiibo, so let's get started. Alright, so we have the 2-Pack Metroid Dread Amiibo of Samus and the Emmy, the enemies that are going to be in Metroid Dread. Oh man, just looking at this right, just as soon as I got it in the store at Best Buy, I was just at awe at the colors. Uh, they, it just looks amazing. And just Samus looks, she looks great. So let's go ahead and just, without any further ado, take her out of the box. This is gonna go ahead and rip her right open. One of the things I also noticed that just by looking at the packaging as well, it seems that Samus is a little bit shorter this time, her Amiibo. But I'm pretty sure there's a reasoning behind that. The biggest reason being the Emmy. So what this is going to do for Metroid Dread is that it's going to, Samus is going to give you a energy tank, an extra energy tank once you scan her in, and then the Emmy is going to give you an extra missile tank once you scan it in, and uh, that is permanent. And then once per day, you can actually recharge your energy tank and your missile tank by scanning them both in. So This was very reminiscent of uh, Samus Returns for the 3DS where you scanned uh, in the Amiibo and it allowed you to recharge your missile or energy tank. And then in the in, in the beginning, they gave you each, well, this is pretty in there, one a day, recharge a day, so. All right, so we got the Emmy, and we got Samus herself. Well, let's take a look at Samus first. She is great, she's really light, but really great, really awesome looking, those metallics, blues. And that metallic red, just a great design of the suit. And I haven't played Metroid Dread yet, um, and we're going to be putting some gameplay here in a little bit to show the functionality of them and everything. But it's her suit looks very what the fusion suit, I guess, would evolve into. So, And this will also work for Super Smash Brothers. So what I'll probably end up doing as well for Super Smash Brothers is converting this one into the fusion suit Samus and we'll do a poll later on to make the Metroid Samus Returns Samus into a different colored Samus so that way you can select it there as well so I'll be doing a poll with different colors on there to, to choose which Samus is this going to be but taking a look at them side by side since this is uh, we're going into the Samus amiibo on here um, you can see that she's a lot smaller in comparison to her Samus Returns one so and I kind of figure that, that she's going to be a little bit smaller in comparison to the Emmy, and we'll get into that for a little bit. But just in comparison to size and actually weight, uh, she's really, really light. So, But still cool nonetheless. It's actually pretty cool because in comparison, she scales a lot better with her Super Smash Brothers counterpart, which is kind of cool. So, Which means she scales pretty well with Dark Samus. Kind of. <laughs> which is also really cool so and i really this has to be so far my favorite amiibo of 2021 it's just amazing looking wow okay well let's take a look at the emmy just menacing it's cool to see also that the eye is not painted it's uh, kind of like a little bead jewel so you have that reflective robotic glass eye on there. That's just really cool. And just the, sh the size of it also is actually really cool. Like it because it's in the stance that it is. So the legs are completely bent out. It's not towering over Samus, but still it's enough to show that's like, okay, this thing is can be massive. And the base on it actually does not have the Metroid. Uh, logo base on it just because the, the base that it's on is a little bit bigger for it, but it is the actual same blue base that they use for the Metroid series. And it's really, really cool. And we'll be taking a look at footage once again for both of them to see how they drop um, in uh, Metroid Dread. So now let's put them in comparison on here. Here's the Emmy with Ridley and Dark Samus really is really small. I'll put the Metroids in here too, I forgot. These are the uh, Jack's specific, uh, Jack's specific um, 
three pack that came from GameStop with a Samus figure and two Metroids. So I really wanted it for the Metroids, and they they made a, a a huge Metroid as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, let me just take a look at that. I mean, again, just to see the details on there. This metallic pearlescent white is really cool, and then just these deep dark metallic black on it just to contrast it really cool really really terrifying can't wait to play this uh, metroid fusion was one of my favorite games of all time on the game boy advance that and minish cap i used to play all the time and uh funny because uh, i guess i don't know a lot of people don't metroid fusion gets a lot of flack so i was always that one person that really liked metroid fusion it's the same with samus returns i really like Mac mercury stream um, as a company, they did great with the Castlevania game. Uh, I bought it when it first came out. And uh, same with Simon's Returns, I bought it when it first came out. And I, I really enjoyed how the company went from there in, in terms of doing uh, Metroid 2 Remake. So I'm really excited to see all the mechanics from Metroid 2 uh, for Sam and from Samus Returns coming back to Metroid Dread with newer mechanics on there as well. So, yeah, he just towers this thing just towers over samus and granted samus is in a little position on here as well but man it looked great together ah, that looks super great let's get some samus shots in here as well so we got our samus return samus our super smash brothers samus our super smash brothers zero suit samus and then our metroid dread samus They really scale well with each other. I think I might put them side by side on the shelf when I have them on display. So even the zero suit somewhat scales a little bit with that. And sometimes the head is what kind of blows things out of proportion for me. In her case, obviously because the long ponytail doesn't match the sense of her helmet, and even her helmet is different on the back here too. So you can kind of see there it's different from the traditional. Her suit got a complete rehaul. It's great. It's it's a great looking suit. I can't wait to see all the upgrades and everything for it. And then you guys let me know as well. Uh, well, I'll be posting it on there um, in the poll. Who do you want to see this color for Samus become? So that mean that because that means now I have three Samus figures that I can do costumes for. So we have our regular Samus. Um, and we have the fusion suit Samus technically, which will be this one. And, uh, yeah, we'll change this one out to something else. So let me know, maybe a gravity suit or maybe a light suit, dark suit. I have a phase on Samus figure from the world of Nintendo as well, from the same line as these Metroids. Uh, I might make that into an amiibo in the future because I also have a regular Samus as well that I might paint, um, to go as, uh, the light suit to go with the phase on suit, so... And then let's grab the Metroid as well, just to have a shot of all the Metroid series Amiibo that have the blue base on there too, so. So yeah. So here I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut here to show some video uh, footage of how these two, and pretty much all the other ones as well, uh, how they work in Metroid Dread. So let's cut to that. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and scan both the Samus, uh, Metroid Dread version of Samus Amiibo and the Emmy onto Metroid Dread so you can see that it gives us the energy tank and the missile tank. So we're going to go in here uh, by pressing the minus button. We're going to go into the options, press Amiibo, and you're going to say scan Metroid related Amiibo to give Samus extra resources or to replenish a random amount of energy or missiles. You can scan each amiibo once per day to replenish these resources. So I'll go ahead and scan Samus. And it gives me an extra energy tank, as you see. Increased by 100. Replenish to 100 energy. So if we go back. I do not see. Let's see if he shows in Samus. So it shows now 199 
for energy as opposed to the regular 99 that you start off with. And if we go back again, we're gonna go ahead and scan now the Emmy. So extra missile plus tank acquired, missile capacity increased by 10, and replenishes 60 missiles. So that's really cool. It actually replenishes a lot more than what your inventory has. So it replenishes a lot more missiles than what I originally thought it would. I thought it would just give you like 10 missiles and then just the extra 10 tank. So there we go. So now our missiles are 25 as opposed to the 15 that we started off with. And then we'll go ahead and actually just from here, we will go ahead and scan another Metroid Amiibo to see what it does there. We'll scan Samus. Energy at maximum capacity, this Amiibo will have no effect. So you can scan other ones. And hopefully this does not have an effect. Ammo at maximum capacity. So Dark Samus gives us ammo. Samus gives us energy. The Metroid probably gives us missiles. Ammo at maximum, yep. So it seems like the enemies will give you ammo and all these Samus variations will give you energy. There we go, zero suit, and then just the last one on there. So that's just a neat little backup to have if you're playing Metroid Dread and you are running low on resources on there, you can go instead of making your way, backtracking all the way to a replenish station, you can actually go ahead and scan any of these Amiibo on there. So, pretty cool. So there we have it, folks. That is a look at the Metroid Dread 2-pack Amiibo of Samus and the Emmy. Uh, overall, I really love the designs of these. Uh, they are by far my favorite Amiibo so far. I really, really, I mean, I'm, I'm biased. I really like Metroid. It's one of my favorite franchises that Nintendo has made. Um, but no, I just I just really like the Samus design itself. I, I like that it's a, it's a fresh coat of paint for her. You know, I'm super glad that she's getting another game. So I really like the design as well. It's it's the colors, the, the metallic colors, they really pop. So the stance is really nice. It'd be really cool to see like a little effect part maybe, but that's just... That's a little too much for me. I, you know how I like effect parts. I, the Emmy itself as well. The Emmy is is hefty. It's it's a big Amiibo, and I really like the big Amiibo. So really, really cool. Uh, I mean, the only the only downfall, I guess, would be for me is the scale once again. She's really, this Samus is really small. So once again, we'll compare it back to the small Super Smash Brothers Samus that came out for Wii U and, and 3DS. And you can see she is really tiny. And then in comparison to the other Samus from her, the actual Samus series of Amiibo, you can tell there's a scaling difference on there of her being really tall to the Samus being really, really small. And I get it, to scale with the Emmy, they did that, but uh, if she was a little bit taller, that would have been a little nicer because it's it's a really light figure too. This is probably one of the lightest Amiibo I have ever seen other than like Pichu or Olimar or stuff like that. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the Metroid Dread um, footage on there, uh, let me know in the comments below. I can probably shoot a little bit of footage for Metroid Dread, uh, some gameplay in between uh, when I'm on break or anything like that. So if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see more of Metroid Dread on there. Uh, take care, stay safe, folks, and smash on!